Yo boys, um, today I'm gonna show you how to do what you saw in the intro. So, um, what you're gonna need for this are your clips, obviously, um, your songs. I'm using Talk Tough, and then I have my clips synced already. So if you guys want to do that, pause the video right now and just go sync your clips up. And so yeah, um, let's just watch what I have so far. And I just added this thing so I could like add text. I added this thing at the beginning so I could just add text at the beginning, like what you'll learn, my add in and everything. But <laughs> yeah, so it's already pretty well synced. Um, so now into the syncing. Um, I mean the velocity. So you're gonna want to go to read time controls. And pretty much you're just gonna wanna go. So this guy flying through the air kinda seems like a good place to start the slow-mo. So we're gonna add a speed point there. And then we're gonna go eight frames back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Add speed point. And then go to when the gun's firing. Add a speed point there. And just like right there. 15 frames next. Another one, so now you're gonna wanna make this one 50, this one 200, and this one also 200. So now this is gonna already, already look. It's already off. What you can do is now you're gonna wanna drag this over. So this is over and make it drag it a little bit so it starts a little bit before the beat drop. And yeah, that's really good. And now, actually, I forgot. You're going to want to make this last one 50% as well. So now it's going to be really clean, slow motion. Big so it's, it's really laggy. Because that's just DaVinci for you. But, um... Um... So yeah, that's, that's the first velocity you can use. And I'm going to show you another one in this next clip. And also, um, I have um, more advanced velocities in the edit pack I'm doing with Even Pressy. So if you guys want to go get that, all um, the video should be out by now. But if it's not, it's gonna come out soon. So yeah, if you want to get that pack, um, I have unreleased tutorials showing some cool velocities. Velocities. So this is the next one. This is one I've I made myself. I know other people use this type, but I actually like figured this out myself. So pretty much what you want to do is go to the first frame you see the fire from the gun. And go four, three frames back. So one, two, three, and then, and then from there you're gonna want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. See now, sometimes fifteen's good, but um, maybe twelve is usually good. So one, two, three, back. As you point, and now fifty. I'm getting in back, and then not fifteen. The middle one's going to be 200, and this front one's going to be 50. So it's just a clean velocity. So it looks fine. Um, not too bad. And if you don't like it for whatever reason, like, if it looks like a little too fast at the end, you can always just do this. Um, you can just drag this bottom one down over, and then maybe drag the front over a little bit. Yeah, so that's good. So that's the next last one, second one, and then here's the last one. All right, so for this one, I'm just gonna do the same velocity I did in the last one because it's one of my favorites. But I'm gonna show you a different way you can do it. So you can go back four frames this time: one, two, three, four. At a speed point, and go twelve to fifteen frames to the right: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna go twelve this time. At a speed point, and now you're gonna wanna make the first one fifty, and then this one two hundred. And then make this one 50. Now you're gonna want to go into your read time curve and make it speed uncheck frame. And now what you want to do is click here and make this a curve and then curve it. So it's <laughs> and it's kind of like a really clean like kind of pop. So that's good. Maybe loosen the curve a little bit and make this part a curve too. Not too long though. <laughs> And 
yeah, so that, I, I, I went back a little f too far. So maybe not 12 frames, maybe go 10. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shorten it one frame. There, that'll probably look cleaner. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. And so now I'm going to show you um, the impacts I I made. I have a preset pack for you. I'm going to show you how to get those. And I'm going to show you how to use them. So yeah, see you there. All right, so... Here I have the Google Drive. I'm gonna link in the description. I'm gonna download it to prove it's not a virus or anything. It's got my preset pack, and you can just drag it onto the desktop. I already have it on my desktop, but I'll replace the destination to show it's not a virus or whatever. Double click it. Wait for DaVinci to open. You're gonna need Sapphire plugins for this and DaVinci Resolve 17, and I'll leave, I'll leave those links in the description too. They're pretty easy to get, and it's worth it. All right, so now um, something's gonna pop up and this thing choose a project name this is gonna pop up somewhere for me it sometimes pops up on my second monitor or behind applications but for this time it popped up right here so once you see it just press ok it's gonna open a project <clears throat> and so now it has a project file in here so I don't know why these are still here I don't know but um, pretty much what you wanna do is these are the impacts and a glow um, and pretty much you're just gonna want to get your power bins out go to presets and pretty much you want to add a bin. I'm gonna name it something random. And pretty much go into your master. And if you don't see power bins, go to view and then uh, show power bins right there. And click that. Make sure it's checked. And pretty much you just want to hold control and select all of these. And then just drag them into your power bin. And so now there's these are gonna be in your every single project as long as you don't delete the power bin. And yeah, so let's go back to the project. So now we're back, and now if we go here, all these are here. So pretty much now we have our velocity, and um, now we're just getting the dragon impacts on. So I made all these. Um, they took a while. This one took a few hours to make. Not a few hours. An hour or so to make. This one is easier. Um, and so pretty much you just need Sapphire plugins for this. So you just have to, all you have to do is just drag this right on top of your marker, and it'll have a big impact and an aftershake. So it's super clean. And so, I have three impacts, so the Y impact is the most boring one, but it's just a Y impact, nothing tilt related. And so you're pretty much just going to want to drag all of these on top of your marker. And it has a little bit of RGB distort, and then the tilt impact one is good too. So, they're all... They're all really clean. You can put these on any montage you want. Um, and I also have this quick glow. This one, it's just a cool, like it's a, Big and it's, it's really clean. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you guys are gonna like use these presets or like put them in your, uh, if you're gonna put these in your like your own tutorial, please give me credit because I did make these and it took a while. But, um, yeah, so. Um, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, add a comment, all that good stuff, and peace.